Hey everyone, welcome to Dicey Biz. This is the first video of a series where I'm gonna be building a house for the first time for a real estate investment property. Most of the time when someone gets a house built, they pay for a total of three things. They pay for a down payment on a construction loan. They pay for interest on that construction loan. Also, they pay a builder fee to whoever they hire to build the house. Now that can add up to tens of thousands of dollars depending on how big the house is. For me, the best part about my build is not only am I not going to pay any of those three things, I'm going to get paid $38,000 from the bank just to build the house. So make sure you watch the whole video to find out my plan on how I will do this. So welcome to my channel. My name is Case Robinson. I'm 25 years old. I'm a roofing business owner. And as of today, I'm a YouTuber, a home builder, and a real estate investor. I'm making this video series to document my very first build from start to finish and I'm going to be posting a video on every single aspect of the job. Um, everything from the planning and the permitting to the finding the vendors and the budgeting uh, to the actual build and then of course the, the finished product. So if you're looking to build a house or if you're just looking to follow me along on this uh, challenge of a journey then make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the videos that are coming. So I'm building a 1200 square foot home on a $150,000 budget and I hope to complete the build in just four months. The plan for this home is to make it a rental property and one of the most important decisions uh, on a rental property is choosing the right location. Um, I've already decided that I'm going to be building this home in a subdivision in Conroe, Texas. Um, I've already found the subdivision that's in a quiet and safe neighborhood with a really good school district. And it's also very close to the Woodlands, which has been named America's best city to live in. Now, unfortunately, I have to build this house with cash because the bank requires you to have built two to three homes already in building experience. Um, and of course, that's not the case for me. So I'm going to be spending about $150,000 in cash to build the house. Um, but I have a plan to get all of my cash back and then some. So let me explain my strategy. So if all goes as planned, this is how the numbers will play out. First, I'll build a house for $150,000. After the house is complete, I will call a lender and I'll get a cash out refinance mortgage on the house. The bank's first step is to get the house appraised, which means a real estate appraiser will determine the fair market value of the house. I'll do a cash out refinance mortgage because the bank will keep 20% of the appraised value as a down payment in equity but they'll actually pay out 80% of the appraised value in cash back to me. So to look at the numbers for our build, uh, we have to determine what the finished appraised value of our home will be. Right now, new construction homes in the neighborhood are appraising for $195 a square foot. So if you multiply my 1200 square foot home times $195 a square foot, then that equals $235,000. So $235,000 is what our finished appraised amount will be. The bank will keep 20% of $235,000, which is $47,000, as a down payment in equity. They will pay out 80% of $235,000, which is $188,000 in cash back to me. Then I'll have a 30-year fixed rate mortgage with a monthly payment of about $1,500, and the renter will pay about $2,300 per month. That's an $800 monthly cash flow. Also, since the bank is going to be paying me $188,000 back after the build is complete, and it's only going to cost me $150,000 to build the house, uh, I'm going to make an additional $38,000 in cash on the build itself. One of the best things about the cash out part of the cash out refinance is that it's considered non-taxable income. So I'm not going to have to pay tax on any of the $188,000 in cash I get back from the bank after the build is complete. So in the end, I'm going to end up having a rental house that I got paid $38,000 to build. Um, also, it's going to be paying me $800 a month in passive income. Uh, so if you think about it, it kind of seems too good to be true. Uh, but, you know, only time will tell. We'll see what happens. So the numbers I just went over are only the immediate short-term benefits of the investment, which are still pretty good, but the main benefits are long-term. And that's when the house has been rented out for 30 full years and the mortgage is completely paid off. At that point, the home will produce me a passive income of $2,300 per month. Also, I'll have a home with 100% equity with a value of at least $235,000. 
And that's not taking into consideration 30 years of real estate appreciation and 30 years of inflation, which will cause an increase in both the rental value as well as the home value. You know, essentially that just means the deal will get sweeter the longer I hold the property. So considering this is going to be my first time building a house, um, this video series should be very interesting and also pretty educational. So if you've watched this far into the video, then I recommend you watching my next video, which is on how I found and purchased the perfect lot for this build. Thanks for watching, guys.